It had been a pleasant evening for Yasmin and her friends, a rare chance for her to unwind after a hectic week. They had enjoyed themselves at the local pub, dancing and letting loose. However, wearing heels made the night more exhausting than she had anticipated. Despite her fatigue, Yasmin agreed to be the designated driver, grateful for her friends who had always been there for her. As they made their way to the parking lot, Yasmin prepared to drive home. Placing her purse on the hood of her car to find her keys, she noticed something on the windshield, a note that immediately caught her attention. Yasmin, a 19-year-old with no previous health concerns, considered herself healthy and was excited about her recent graduation from Homewood School and starting a new job. However, she had begun experiencing unusual symptoms, swelling in her legs, stomach, back, and eyes, along with soreness. Initially dismissing these as cramps or allergies, she didn't think much of them. But as the symptoms persisted and intensified, she started to realize something more serious might be happening. Despite taking antihistamines and painkillers, the symptoms didn't go away. Eventually, the pain became unbearable, prompting her to seek medical advice at her mother's suggestion. After consulting doctors, Yasmin was initially diagnosed with exhaustion and advised to take time off work. Yet, as time passed, it became clear that the situation was more complex than they initially thought. Yasmin's journey took an unexpected turn as she navigated through the uncertainty of her health. Yasmin, unaware of the severity of her condition, followed her doctor's advice obediently. They had recommended taking time off work to rest, believing it would alleviate her symptoms. However, despite her efforts to improve her health, Yasmin's condition only worsened over time, a frustrating and bewildering experience for her. Reflecting on her deteriorating health in a later interview, Yasmin recalled, I could barely walk across a room without needing to stop. My once active exercise routine became non-existent. Despite maintaining a healthy lifestyle with regular gym visits, her health continued to decline inexplicably. As per medical advice, Yasmin focused on rest, yet she continued to lose weight, appetite, and her complexion grew paler. Her mother, witnessing Yasmin's health decline, felt increasingly helpless and fearful. My symptoms progressed gradually, but in the months leading to my diagnosis, they intensified, Yasmin shared. My mom feared she might lose me. Seeking answers, Yasmin made numerous visits to the Accident and Emergency Department at Tenterden Hospital, where doctors and nurses grew familiar with her case. Despite extensive testing, the cause of her symptoms remained elusive, leaving both Yasmin and her family frustrated. Yasmin's mother, deeply concerned for her daughter's well-being, advocated for further tests to uncover the root of her health issues. This persistence eventually led to a breakthrough when Yasmin received a diagnosis of idiopathic pulmonary arterial hypertension IPAH. This diagnosis brought relief to her family offering a starting point for targeted treatment and care. The diagnosis of idiopathic pulmonary arterial hypertension, IPAH, came as a shock to both Yasmin and her mother, who were unfamiliar with the condition. Determined to understand and manage Yasmin's health better, they embarked on a journey of self-education. They sought answers about the prognosis, treatment options, and whether Yasmin could lead a normal life despite her condition. Yasmin, relieved to finally have a diagnosis, delved into research to comprehend the complexities of living with IPAH. She learned that the condition severely restricted her ability to exert herself physically without experiencing breathlessness. This realization forced her to take a significant break from work, dedicating six months to focus on medication and adjusting to her new reality. Amidst the challenges, there was a surprising aspect to Yasmin's case that astonished her doctors. Typically, individuals born with IPH have a life expectancy of up to 17 years. Yet here was Yasmin, aged 19, surpassing all expectations. Her resilience and determination in facing this daunting health challenge set her apart as a unique case. Reflecting on her situation in interviews, Yasmin shared, the initial relief of having a diagnosis has given way to the reality of living with it. 
Managing it with medication and having a pump fitted has made it more manageable, but it's a permanent adjustment. Living a normal teenage life was now a distant dream for Yasmin, overshadowed by the daily management of her health. Returning to the night when she found the note on her car windshield, Yasmin recalled feeling deeply hurt by the stranger's judgment. Despite having a blue badge that permitted her to park in a disabled spot, the stranger chose to critique her appearance, assuming she was physically capable based on looks alone. It was a poignant reminder of the misunderstandings and prejudices she faced due to her invisible illness. To Yasmin, receiving such a note was deeply insulting, as the person had no understanding of the challenges she had been facing recently. Unaware of her condition, the stranger had unfairly judged her based solely on her appearance, assuming she looked like any other capable person. Yasmin felt attacked and angered by this blatant act of shaming, especially after everything she had been through. The sentiment behind the note left Yasmin furious and incensed at the stranger's thoughtlessness. Clearly, this person did not know her circumstances well enough to ascertain whether she needed the disabled parking spot. Yasmin was infuriated that someone would question her right to park there, given the struggles she had endured in her life. Determined to address this unjust accusation, Yasmin took immediate action when she returned home. Sitting at her computer, she vented her frustration. Whoever wrote this didn't have the courage to sign their name or approach me in person, she, making sure her message was seen by the sender of the note. Yasmin explained the circumstances of that evening at the White Lion in Tenterden, where she and her friend had dined at Prezzo and parked in the disabled space. She expressed her anger and frustration openly, not holding back about how unjustly she felt treated. Receiving such notes was unfortunately not new for Yasmin, despite this being the first written one. She had grown accustomed to disapproving looks from strangers who did not understand her complex health condition and would often judge her for using disabled parking spots. Despite appearing outwardly healthy, Yasmin struggled with invisible challenges every day. Yasmin not only to vent but also to raise awareness about idiopathic pulmonary arterial hypertension, IPAH, a condition unfamiliar to many. By sharing her experiences, she hoped to educate others and shed light on the unseen difficulties people like her face. Reflecting on the stares and disapproving glances she often encountered, Yasmin lamented, people stare when I get out of the car. But this was the first time anyone had confronted me like this, let alone left a note. When I display my badge, I feel like I have to justify myself. This became Yasmin's opportunity to educate others about the rare illness she was managing. Since idiopathic pulmonary arterial hypertension, IPAH, isn't widely understood, Yasmin saw it as a chance to increase awareness and challenge outdated perceptions of disability. She aimed to highlight that disabilities can be both visible and invisible, urging people to broaden their understanding. Yasmin emphasized the importance of recognizing that not all disabilities are apparent. Just because I don't use a wheelchair or have a visible condition doesn't mean I shouldn't use a disabled space, she explained. Her goal was to foster empathy and understanding for those with unseen health challenges. Receiving the note turned out to be a catalyst for Yasmin to find her voice and inner strength. Before this incident, she had quietly dealt with her frustrations. In a way, it's been positive because the support I've received on after sharing about the note has been incredible, she revealed. Her intention in sharing her story was to raise awareness about her condition and educate others about the realities of living with an internal and critical medical condition. By responding where the note's author remained anonymous, Yasmin found a constructive way to advocate for herself and others in similar situations.